what is going on guys this is arctic fox welcome back to the channel now today we are covering a subject that i have tackled numerous times on this channel and that is the issue of human trafficking especially as it pertains to children and more specifically as it pertains to runaway cases the United Nations calls it a violation of human rights, and people fall tr prey to human trafficking on a daily basis, especially in the South, according to an FBI agent that I recently spoke with. And while anyone can be a victim, children are often the most sus susceptible to human trafficking. A case comes to mind that I recently saw out of Meeks County, where the TBI announced Tuesday that a man and woman are facing commercial sex trafficking charges involving a minor. And this case sticks out in my mind. Authorities arrested 25-year-old Tristan Epperson of Ree County and 33-year-old Clarissa McKinney on Monday. The TBI release came out on World Day Against Trafficking of Persons, which I think is ironic. FBI Atlanta spokesperson Tony Thomas says that more law enforcement agencies in the South are reporting issues like this case. And the TBI says agents began investigating Tristan Epperson and Clarissa McKinney in early 2024 after receiving information concerning their interactions with a juvenile. It's something that FBI agent Thomas says happens more than most people think. More than half of the cases reported nationwide in the last 10 years come from the South, according to Thomas. And he says that many trafficking cases come from those victims who are seeking a better life. It could be as something as simple as them looking for a better income, thinking that the grass is always greener someplace, and they are a curse to come along. The, these cases, the people get trapped in the lifestyle. And before they know it, you know, they're being trafficked, according to Agent Thomas. Enza... Hagen's Dyer spent her retirement working with those victims. She says trafficking can begin at the one place that children are meant to feel safe. One very sad statistic is that trafficking often begins in the home and it often begins at the hands of people that are trusted and who seek to exploit these victims. She goes on to say that the average age to enter into trafficking in the state of Tennessee is between the ages of 11 and 15 years old. Now that's a sad, sad statistic. So you have to ask yourself, what are the signs of trafficking? How can you spot it before it's too late? Well, she goes on to say if your teenager shows up with two cell phones or maybe a brand new cell phone or a brand new purse or a brand new gaming toy or something that they can't really explain who they got it from those are generally the first signs and while some factors can lead to more risk agent thomas says anyone can be a target um you know it can happen to anyone it's not just the stranger who lives in a big city, according to Agent Thomas. Now, the case that we referenced earlier is alarming. Epperson is charged with commercial sex trafficking, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, and six counts of statutory rape. He's now in custody, and get this, his bond is only $100,000, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. This man should not have any bond whatsoever, but... That gets worse because McKinney, who is charged with commercial sex trafficking, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, and six counts of facilitation of statutory rape, was released on her own recognizance. Guys, you wonder why we have such an epidemic of trafficking in this country. This is why. You've got a man charged with six counts of statutory rape contributing to the delinquency of a minor and he only gets a hundred thousand dollar bond his co-conspirator 
gets off on her own recognizance. It's absolutely ridiculous. And while I do believe in innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, when you're facing such serious charges, there needs to be no bond. And yet, definitely don't release you on your own recognizance. That's absolutely the most absurd thing that I've ever heard in my life. We have people out there that get caught with a little bit of weed in their car in states where it's not legal yet, and they face higher penalties and get higher bonds than some of these people that are trafficking children. It's absolutely ridiculous, and we absolutely need to do better. It's absurd. Now, if you suspect that someone is a victim of human trafficking, you can certainly call 888-373-7888, and talk to someone. It's a huge issue in our country, especially in the South and especially when it pertains to children. And we've talked about this numerous times on this channel when we talk about the runaway cases because statistically speaking, children who run away end up selling themselves on the streets and end up in trafficking situations more often than children that are abducted simply as a means of supporting themselves. And Unfortunately, it's these very cases, the runaway cases, where no Amber Alerts get issued, where parents have to fight just to get any attention for their children that are missing, that these law enforcement agencies don't seem to take seriously. It, and it goes all the way back to the 80s. Look at the case of Johnny Gosh, little paper boy, out doing his paper route, gets abducted, Law enforcement tells the parents they can't do anything. They can't even make a report for 48 to 72 hours. Meanwhile, all these years later, we find out that it's very likely that Johnny Gosh himself was a victim of trafficking. For those unfamiliar with the Johnny Gosh case, there are some videos on my channel about Johnny Gosh. He was a paper boy out of Iowa. He was abducted. Uh, law enforcement didn't take the case seriously. He ended up being the first child ever placed on a milk carton, but it's, it's one of those cases that I always bring up when I talk about the issue of trafficking because it does really hit home the point that law enforcement needs to take these runa case, runaway cases far more seriously than what they are. So, we need to get the information out that trafficking is a huge issue with these children and especially it's becoming a, a bigger issue apparently in Tennessee and Georgia and honestly in any state where you've got a huge highway system it's going to be an issue so do me a favor give the video a like it does help more people to see the video and hear what can be done to try to combat this hear what some of the signs are if you're a parent and your kid is bringing home toys and phones and electronics and whatnot that they can't explain where it came from, can't tell you any information about, certainly that's a, a red flag and you need to be looking at that. You also need to be making sure that you're keeping an eye on what your children are doing online, especially these kids that like to play games like Fortnite and Minecraft. Those are huge breeding grounds for predators. They sit there and wait on kids that they can lure into their web. It's, it's a huge issue. So, I, I don't know how many times it can be said. Keep an eye on what your kids are doing. Absolutely. So, do me a favor. Like I said, share this out to all your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram. If you're not subbed up to the channel yet, consider doing that so that you can always be alerted whenever I post videos like this. But most important is to share it out. I mean, people need to know the information that's out there. As always, guys, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and I'll see you soon in the next video.